6,580 pounds, the Octane 273 here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you would like to learn more about this, such as total tank capacities, if you want to see if it's in stock, available, how we have it equipped, what we're asking, you get the idea. There's a link in the video description that says check for price and availability. You are one click away from checking on all that good stuff. This is, uh, uh, well, it's it's one of the best-selling floor plans from one of the best-selling travel trailer toy hauler brand, uh, <laughs> brands on the planet. Uh, Blands is a combination of planet and brands, obviously. Pardon me, I, I, I jumble words and you can look those up in a definitionary. Anyway, moving on. Um, why though? Why is this doing so well? That's what I want to hit on. We've got uh, 102 inch wide body construction. There's different ways to go wide body. You can go um, partial wide body, 100 inch wide body by just mounting the walls beside the floor and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Jayco went with maximum size though. They went with maximum size which offers maximum space, maximum livability. Still 6,580 pounds. A true comfortable half ton towable and I don't know if you noticed up front but this has a large and expansive full pass through storage compartment. It's one of the things we've learned to look for here at Halet RV. You know, you, you look at a normal travel trailer over here, a non-toy hauler, you got double sided pass through storage. Why not up here, you know? A lot of brands sometimes they'll put like a water heater under the bed on this side or, or something like that. Well, it blocks off the pass through. This is, storage is important, you know? Something else they've done storage wise that I like here, and I don't really see this repeated elsewhere in the industry, it's kind of exclusive to these Jayco's here at Halet RV, is this front cargo rack. And you're looking at it going, yeah, but where's the battery? And you've, if you've been paying attention, you notice I got my little red jumper box plugged in over here. This has a classic Jayco side battery mount station in here. Pretty cool, actually. It kind of just keeps everything out of the way. Now, um, this does have a little solar prep plug on the tongue on the other side. Uh, that just, uh, what that does for you is if you do decide to plug in a little, like, I don't know, 100 watt solar panel, whatever, um, it will just keep your uh, batteries topped off. So your lights, your fans, if you're not at a park, it can be really helpful. If you're at a park, you flat out don't need it. So, I should have backed up. What What is this? First of all, I mean, this the obvious answer is it's a Jayco toy hauler, but what is it? At the end of the day, if I really boiled it down simply, it's just a J-Flight toy hauler. And J-Flight is and has been the number one selling series of travel trailers on the market since 2005 and counting. This is basically a wide body J flight that you can park a motorcycle or an ATV in. That's it. You don't have to really rethink it much more than that. What does that mean? <clears throat> well, first of all, being a Jayco, it has twice the industry standard warranty. This has a best in class warranty. True two year bumper to hitch. There is no one else with a longer full warranty. So more peace of mind, more assurance, even though this is one of their more basic, well, this is the most basic member of the toy hauler family at Jayco. But this is where it all starts. This is what it's all based on, you know. Um, the uh, ladder, we've got an always on side mount ladder here to get you up to that Magnum Trust Jayco full walk on roof. Um, we've got double flood lighting in the back. And notice how high the LED tail lights are in this. And by the way, they're not just LED tail lights, it's LED markers, every uh, LED inside, outside, everywhere. But the tail lights are mounted really high. Why? Why am I talking about that? Well, when you're going down the road, and you're driving, and you you stab the brakes real quick. You go, and you you look up. You see your head snaps up to attention. These brake lights are up higher. They're at eye level line of sight for safety reasons. Also, LED tail lights fire that much faster than incandescent bulbs. Why does that matter? Well, when you're going at highway speeds, it makes five foot of difference. Someone behind you will stop up to five feet faster just because this Jayco has LED tail lights. Isn't that awesome? That, that could literally be the difference between a fun time at the park after a quick uh, you know, excursion on the brake pedal versus a uh, call to the insurance adjuster that nobody wants to make. <coughs> Push button power awning with full length LED lighting. Um, basically on the outside, not much has changed from last year. They uh, they've been making one of the best-selling toy haulers on the market. They weren't gonna <laughs> they weren't gonna mess with the recipe, but this is awesome. They got away from T-molded countertops here. This is kind of a first for Jayco. They're using this is a thermal foil press membrane countertop. It exists in other places in the market, and I'm really excited to see it here on a Jayco. You know why? It was raining a little bit ago, and I wouldn't have cared if this table was outside because it's waterproof. 
It's a sealed edge table. Nothing can penetrate that. Now you notice too we've got tinted windows to give you privacy. It keeps the interior cooler and it keeps your furniture from getting sun faded because UV rays will do that. Now notice um, the, the radius door on the back of this, not a, a square angle door. Jayco uses a different door supplier. Um, talk to any structural engineer. Radius is stronger than a right angle, you know? It's just, it's easier to build on a right angle and it's not that a camper uh, with a, a toy hauler with a, uh, a corner door, it's not that that's bad. It's just there's good and there's better. Now also, they've got self-locking hasps here. Like I can yank on this and it doesn't go anywhere. You have to, well first I got to get the pressure off it, then disengage it because the pressure actually helps latch it closed. Now, I only got one hand and I got chicken arms. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a real muscly dude. I'm kind of wiry with a little chubby belly, but you can see this is not hard to manage. This is easy to manipulate with the really aggressive spring assist that they have on there. So as we start walking up this thing, 3,000 pound rated ramp door, by the way, you've probably seen the Happy Jack bed and sofa lifts a hundred different times. Um, these have become virtual industry standard. I'm not going to spend all of the time in the world talking about this, but real quick, for those who are not familiar with this, up top here we have a bed. The bed can stay against the ceiling and you can drop the sofas. Going down the road, both sofas can be in the flat up position like this bed but against the ceiling, or the sofas can fold down against the side of the trailer to give you maximum load height or width. Now, when they're down, you can use them like a normal sofa bench. Each side also has a fold down armrest that you see right here so you can kind of have like a little theater feel going on. Um, and uh, here I'll do this one. If you want to convert this into another mega bunk, that's all there is to it. Uh, obviously the armrest gets tucked back down in place. Both of these will uh, come down and kiss in the middle so that you have one smooth continuous sleeping space there. And when you're done with it, that's all there is to it. They're just rollovers. Bang. Um, carpetless because you don't want carpet in a toy hauler. That's stupid. 5,000 pound rated D-rings. There's something not industry standard. That's something I like about the Jayco's at Halet RV. Um, how do they do it though? Industry standard is 2,500 pound rated. A lot of them will try to mask it by having a, a ring on here that says 3,300 pound uh, rated, but a lot of these are only pull tested to 25. Jayco's are a 5,000 um, pound tie down, pull tested at 5,000 pounds because they weld on a giant steel plate directly to the chassis. This is essentially screwed to an extrusion that is welded to the chassis. Pull tested, 2,500 pounds. And you see the dovetail here, how it slopes down to make loading really easy. And you'll see those D-rings go all the way up front, all the way up to that fridge, basically. Um, let me sneak inside. Oh, sometimes people ask, like, what are those things right there? I saw like Mr. Mackey. Okay. Anyway. Um, they're, they're just clothes hangers. You know, they're just extra little storage tool that you can use. This is neat. Um, they had this last year, but I, I really didn't do a good job of pointing it out. The little accent lighting under the counter, it just, it looks really cool. Um, and it really does help brighten it up in here. This, uh, is one of the few changes they made over last year. Is they changed up the wood tones and the cabinet styling. Um, they had a really, really dark chocolate wood this year. And what's funny is... They match now the J-Flight cabinetry that you find in the rest of Jayco. This is called Chocolate Maple. And even though it actually went darker in the J-Flights, the old wood in this was so dark, this is now lighter. And I don't know if it's the big windows or all the light coming in from the ramp door back here. It's nice. It, it is just the right shade of brighter compared to what it used to be. I don't know, it's like the little touches like this backsplash. Remember the thermal foil press membrane countertops, the waterproof countertops I talked about? Stainless, 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 stainless. I don't know, it's like there's the, there's the correct combination of colors and look and feel and streamline here. They didn't change this much, but what they did, man, man it looks good. They really dialed this thing in. I mean, it was just a quarter turn and Wow, there's something about this. It's just so clean and slick and residential looking and feeling and streamlined and, I don't know, a little, little, little sexy, a little sexy in there. They put a little sexy in the Jayco. Things looking good. Um, full extension drawers, and I do mean full extension. Plywood constructed, so they're not going to fall apart on you because they're not press board with a sticker wrap. Convection microwave oven for the little bit of cooking you might do in a toy hauler. Little cooktop here for just a couple quick little things. Power outlets, 
so you can have all your little appliances and stuff. I already mentioned the stainless uh, sinks over here. And uh, one of the other very small changes they made over last year is they increased the size of the refrigerator 33%. They went to an 8 cubic foot fridge and freezer, just like the J-Flight, instead of an uh, industry standard 6 cubic foot. So once again, more like the J-Flight than ever before. Um, I like this. This is also a great little uh, pantry space right here. And you could easily remove one of those shelves or two of those shelves and turn it into like closet space. Kind of a, a closed off master control panel up here. You can shut the ability to raise and lower the, the, the cargo bed back here. Um, also, these switches, you notice how everything's up really high so that little kids can't get to it and mess with your stuff. That's a, that's a handy little thing right there. Um, about the only major difference between this and a J flight other than the width is the floor but it's because of the width that the floor is different you're looking at it you're like what are you talking about it looks the same well uh this is a laminated floor it's an extra thick extra reinforced heavy duty laminated floor why do they do that well J flights jacos normally are made with a plywood floor deck but wide body plywood is very expensive so what they did here is they laminated the floor. Because when you laminate, you can make something any width you want. And as a side effect in doing so, they actually increased the insulation value across the floor in general, because a lot of toy hauler garages don't have good insulation to them. But the other thing here is uh, it doesn't squeak anymore. There's there Well, not that they really ever did in the past. It's just that it can't. There's no moving parts. It's all glued together. It's not going nowhere, folks. <coughs> Bathroom. <clears throat> Most campers got one. Sometimes I forget to talk about them. Let's not make that mistake. Dual entry. You can get to it from the bedroom or the hallway. You've got a big sink that adults can actually wash their hands in. It's not a small counter. It's just a big sink. And actually, it's a pretty big counter, too, now that I look at it. Extra, extra deep medicine cabinet. And that sounds silly, but you will fill that thing up. Um, toilet is a foot flush. You can kind of see that there. And again, you can see you can easily get to the uh, bathroom from either way, which is really nice for the person who sleeps on that side of the bed over there. Something else I like, they added this extra little storage cabinet up here above the toilet. Now, some brands, that will be the only area that they have for... Um, like extra rolls of toilet paper or towels or anything in the whole RV. But this is another brand's. This is a Jayco. And one thing they know is that storage is golden and they didn't waste any space in here. They did a great job of that. Um, bedroom up front, I really like the, going to the chocolate maple wood tones, I don't know how well it's translating through to camera. In real life though, when you see this in stunning lifelike 3D and you know, when you're uh, IRL as it were, to, oh my Lord, do they even still say that? Am I that old? Ah, I'm getting old. I'm getting old in internet terms. That's funny. Anyway, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, what I was getting at is the little bit lighter wood tones here. It, it brightened it up just enough. Oh, uh, now I'm noticing something too. They, they actually brought this cabinet forward. They made it a little more three-dimensional. You see that exchange right there? That's what it is. Something felt... I don't know, it had more shape to it. It wasn't flat and boring like it was last year. Okay, now we're cooking the fire. Really nice linen set, too. I mean, that may not mean much to some people, but it's really nice. It's actually, they're, they've got a... You touch them, they're legit. And they're covering up a Simmons, uh, like, residential mattress. How cool is that? It's a nicer bed than you typically find in this business. Jayco Simmons all over the place. Um, I like a little padded headboard too because I'm a klutz and I'll smack my head on things. Um, you've got side stands with outlets and these are again pressed thermal foil countertops. Waterproof, not going to fall apart. Big stands on the side for all your alarm clocks and all those good things. Um, TV hookups against the wall. Extra vent up here for airflow and light. You have a privacy bedroom door with a little lock so that it's not going to go anywhere. You know. It's been one of the best sellers. Actually, for a, a very large period last year, it was the number one selling travel trailer toy hauler. It's currently jockeying back and forth between number one and number two. It's got to tell you something, guys. It's doing a lot of things right. You want to learn more? Give us a call. We have factory trained staff. We only do everything at Halet RV. And by the way, when you visit the link in our video description that says check for price and availability, when we have one in stock, we advertise, we actually do advertise a price for the ones that we have in stock. You don't have to call, you don't have to give us a social security number, you don't have to tell us what you make for a living, you don't have to tell us if you do or don't have a trade, because we don't care. This is worth what it's worth. If you have a trade, great, it's worth what it's worth. Our pricing is 
simple, easy, transparent, and you do not get charged extra for things like freight charges, um, destination or prep, or finance charges, or office administrative fees, um, you know, starters bundles. We've standardized all that. That is not normal in this business. Mind you, when you see, I, I can promise you, I promise you this, I promise you that you will find someone who can advertise this a dollar cheaper. And I promise you, you'll find someone who says, oh, we can, we can beat that by 1100 bucks without even sharpening a pencil. And then by the time that they're done tacking on all their fees, you're gonna find out we were the better option in the first place. All I ask, all I ask, if you found this video useful, if you found it enjoyable, um, give our staff a chance to earn your business and give us a chance to actually put something on paper and be fair. You know, get your out the door quotes from two places and let us do our job. If you don't buy from us, that's eh, our fault, not yours. But if you don't call, you never know. You could have lost out on a couple thousand dollars, guys. If you want to take that chance, that's up to you. But if you want to make sure, you give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hale at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.